Yeah, hey, hey guys, I thought I'd just do just a little update of, of being off my one year celebration, so to speak, um, of being off psychiatric, psychiatric drugs. Um, I don't think a lot of people who follow this channel uh, actually know this but it's taken me six, six years just to get here today to tell you this video of me being one year clean off of psychiatric drugs. I, I first had my first attempt back in 2017 to come off psychiatric drugs. I cold turkey after 12 years of being on Bocetalopram for nine years on 40 milligrams and Effexa 75 milligrams for three years and I cold turkey after 12 years. Uh, I, enjoy, I endured severe pause post-acute withdrawal syndrome that tortured my mind and body for nine months. Then I had to reinstate the drug after nine months because I couldn't handle the severe neurological and, and psycho psychological symptoms anymore. As I sit here a year off psychiatric drugs, going back on the psychiatric drug in the first place after nine months, although back then it was a relief for me, I wish I stayed off because that was the biggest mistake I've ever made going back on because of the damage it's done to me now when I sit here it's uh, it, it it really wasn't worth it so yeah I went, I went back on the drug and re reinstated after nine months I'd already suffered a, suffered a, ne a neurological injury I I stayed on Effexa 37.5 for nine months and then I began experiencing toxic encephalopathy and severe paradoxical reactions. I then began the tapering process for liquid suspension that lasted nearly four years, four years of severe suffering, severe paradoxical reactions, severe drug neurotoxicity, Everything you could think of within that four years uh, I, I experienced. So I've changed my title from withdrawal to subsequent neuro neurological injury or TCBI, which is a traumatic chemical brain injury from prolonged exposure to psychiatric drugs. So to be sitting here today, a, a year after, of off these drugs after a total of 17 years on them and my entire adult life. It's just an absolutely incredible achievement for me to be sitting here, even, even to be alive and to be filming this video. I'm extremely proud of myself for, for what I've been through, for what I've suffered and how I'm still here having the strength after being severely damaged by psychiatric drugs to still make a video. Um, I'm extremely proud of myself and, and what's happened to me. So, um, you know, a lot of people that have been severely damaged by psychiatric drugs, they're, they're not making YouTube videos uh, within a year, they're normally off the drug for at least five years, five, five, six years before they're even making videos or telling this story because they're still healing from the damage and the trauma. So this is the last thing they want to do. Um, this is my third video I've made this year already. So maybe I'm just crazy, I don't know, but 
I know I'm courageous and I know I'm the strongest person that I know. I know that, so um, I don't need anyone else to tell me or tell me anything or put me down or whatever. I what if a duck's back? It's it's nothing. So sitting here trying to gather my thoughts, my brain is it's not function not functioning the way I want it to be. It's not connecting the way I want it to be. But it is what it is. So I'm currently experiencing you know a lot of symptoms still after a year you know I'd, I'd i'd love to be sit i'd love to be here telling you i'm more better now and it's all rainbows and butterflies but this is not my experience guys it's um it's been a severe injury traumatic injury so i'm experiencing over um anhedonia i i just don't feel joy or connection with anyone or, or anything you know, it's, I'm still experiencing severe derealization. I feel totally detached away from er everything still um, after, after a full year of being clean from these drugs. Uh, depersonalization, I don't know who I am. I'm still trying to find out who I am. You know, um, I know my purpose in life is to help people with trauma, is to help people coach people off these drugs and re regain their lives but at the moment I'm not strong enough to do that so that it will eventually come but in terms of who I am my personality I'm still trying to find that I'm still healing um, yeah I have a lot of trauma from this experience severe you know P PT yes it's not a disorder it's just post traumatic stress I don't see it as a disorder it's just stress from what these drugs have done to me and also the long-term exposure of, of, of these drugs they affect different parts of the brain when you're using these drugs at high doses for a long for, you know for a long time so I have a lot of t I'm experiencing I know that's a temporal lobe dysfunction so I'm having a lot of time filtering out, filtering up uh, background noise, uh, lights, different lights. They they really annoy me. People walking towards me. At, I'm I'm, I'm, so, I'm having a lot of problems. Um, you know, remembering dates, remembering names, remembering faces. It's um, I'm having a lot of problems with that um, at the moment. And you know, being at places uh, on time, I'm having a lot of problems with that. Just, I definitely know something has um, gone on, which is not, which is not great, which is not good. And um, it's, exp it's extremely hard to deal with. Um, I'm having a lot of a, a lot of nerve pain in my ears still. Um, I know I've had nerve damage in my ears. I'm still I still have severe head pain in my in my head, and I still feel like a. Like I get like these sounds in my. In my head and my brain, it's like a some sort of mercury met, metally metallic sound. Um, it's it's definitely electrical electrical damage there. It's it's um. You know it's horrible. I I I'm still having severe difficulty with uh, fatigue levels um, I'm, I'm severely fatigued tired all the time I'm unable to train a year off my drugs I can't train properly which is um, you know pretty devastating to me because I'm, I'm an ex personal trainer and that was my job and I can't train all I can do at the moment is is push-ups you know, sit-ups and yoga and light gentle walks. I can't do anything too strenuous, so it's extremely discouraging. You know, but it is what it is. Um, 
I'm also experiencing a lot of cognitive uh, dissonance. My, my levels of cognitive function have definitely dropped um, a lot. I just can't, I can't focus for long periods of time or I just, it just feels like my brain has completely been fried and I'm just having to, to get through each day and things are eventually going to get better or improve to some, to some point. I really don't know. So, so yeah, those would be the main things I'm experiencing at the moment, or, or what I've just said. In terms of any sort of, you know, positive outcomes, I'm experiencing a lot less agathesia. I experienced agathesia for over five years at differing intensities. I've got extremely high pain tolerance, high pain tolerance, so. I don't, I don't know, you know, some people, my level of ecothesia might have been severe. I, I don't know, but it was bad and now that's completely gone. So if that's any positive, that's something um, because ecothesia is a horrible condition. So I'm glad I don't have that ecothesia, that chemical agitation anymore. I can sit down and not have to move or feel uncomfortable. I can, you know, I feel okay. Another thing I'd say after a year, which is slightly improved, would be my, you know, my cognitive capabilities have improved a little bit. You know, a, a year ago, if, if something went wrong or, or you know, I, I, I stuffed up on something, I'd, I'd, I'd have a panic, a, a panic attack. And, and you know have to have to move or I'd break down but now if something goes wrong you know I'm, I'm able to um, I still panic and, and fret but that ke that level of chemical terror is out of my body now so I'm able to you know I'm able to have enough mental capacity to fix things or do little things which is you know which is um, which is great, you know. I'm, I'm positive about that. I can drive now, um, which is which is good. Um, I drive with great great difficulty, um, but it's it's an improvement, guys. You know, it's um, it's definitely improvement. So, you know, for me, uh, sitting here, I know what's happened to me. I know it's a uh, it's, it's a neurological. Uh, injury and I've always said to myself that if, if I was willing to take five years just to get off this drug then I'm going to take five years to heal once complete cessation happens so I've always said I'm going to give myself five years to completely heal from this so this is a year so I'd probably say I'm five to five to ten percent better than I was this time last year. So that's a, a huge positive for me. And even though I'm sitting here in, in a lot of pain, a lot of neurological distress, body shaking, I still have my chemical agitations going through my sternum. I'm you know, I'm you know, I'm still positive, guys, I'm still positive that things are are gonna continue. To get better so you know I'm sorry for that I'm sorry for the negativity that, I, that I, I may bring but at the end of the day this is my story and I have to be genuine I have to be real and I have to be authentic with my story and what I'm telling people because you know this is a, I'm not a fake person. This is my. This is what it is. This is what's happened to me, and I accept it. And I know. And I know what I have to do to continue to heal, and um, you know, get my life back. So I just wanted to say one final thing is. When you're on this journey, of psychotro psych psychotropic drug withdrawal. 
once you're off the drugs and you're if, if you're strong enough to not go back on the drug not reinstate and your withdrawal symptoms aren't severe or life-threatening once you're off the drug there really is no way back you know you have to keep you have to keep moving forward even if it's hell on earth even if you're hurting you got to keep moving forward because that's the only way you're going to get out of this is through it so that's the way it is guys it's it's it's, it's inhumane no one should ever have to go through this but it is you know it, you know it is what it is and there are no other options you know you can get all the help you need all the therapist you need and everything but you're the one who's going to have to do this you're the one who's going to have to go do the work and, and and heal yourself no one else can do this for you so that's all i wanted to say to today so i will do an update in another six months and i hope to sit down with um dr yosef dr yosef during and tell my experience for the next three or four months but we'll we'll see how we go so yeah thanks a lot guys for watching if you could please subscribe or even like the video even share it it's just going to help spread the algorithm so the more people that get to see these videos obviously the more uh, awareness uh, I can spread and you could spread of the of the long-term dangers of these of these class of drugs and and just one more one more thing I, I just wanted to say that th there tends to be a bit of you know a bit of divide in the community we have you know benzo support days and you know anti-psychotic anti-psychotic groups and antidepressant groups you know, how about we all all come together and, and support each other because you know all of these drugs in the long term are doing horrific damage and, and 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 harm so yeah how about we all just come together and just support each other and there's no divide or separation that's just a thought maybe i'm just being silly but that's just my thoughts so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time take care love you guys Ah. Uh.